he disappeared faster than Mace did. So I would literally walk up to Puff and, you know, and I'd be like, you want to do this? And, you know, after that working for him, you know, Puff, you think he'd have mastered everything. After many lawsuits and people turning against Diddy, it was widely anticipated that Fonsworth Bentley, one of Diddy's assistants, would speak up about why he left Diddy. Finally, that day has arrived and he's revealed how he allegedly escaped Diddy's freak off. What, what do you think Diddy and Fonsworth Bentley's real relationship was? Concubine. Master. Since the news that Diddy's assistant, Fonsworth Bentley, left Diddy, the internet has been going crazy. People are guessing why he left. Fonsworth is not keeping quiet anymore. He wants everyone to know why he left Diddy and what he was up to. And let's say it's not good news for Diddy's reputation. Fonsworth became famous because of Diddy, but now he's wondering if all that attention was worth it. In the early 2000s, he became famous overnight as Diddy's assistant and valet. Back then, Diddy was was in a tough spot. He got in trouble for having weapons and wanted to start over, so he changed his name from Puff Daddy to P. Diddy. During this time, he often appeared in public with a person holding an umbrella, which made some people think he had a strange fetish. But it turns out things were even worse than that. It seems like Diddy and this person had a relationship that was too close and not appropriate. Many fans think that someone as talented and hardworking as Fonsworth didn't need to be under anyone's control to achieve success. But the truth is, being under Diddy's supervision was really important back then. To give you some background, Fonsworth Bentley, whose real name is Derek Watkins, came into the spotlight in the early 2000s. He started as a rapper, making appearances on albums like Too Hot for TV in 2002, and on skits like Good Day, Good Sir, Speaker Box, The Love Below album in the following year. My name is Derek Watkins. I started working at a job in hip hop. You get a nickname, just like his name ain't Busta Rhymes. Who gave you the nickname? Uh, Tony De Niro. Uh, actually, Puff's boy did. In 2004, he appeared in Kanye West's music video for The New Workout Plan. Fonsworth also worked as a songwriter and contributed to tracks on Kanye's album Yeezus, including On Sight, Black Skinhead, I Am A God, and Hold My Liquor. In 2008, he appeared in the Yes We Can music video for Barack Obama's presidential campaign. So he was pretty much everywhere, but people weren't sure what his main job was until he started following Diddy around with with that big umbrella. Many fans saw him holding an umbrella for Diddy and were quick to speculate what's really going on here. Fans were holding Diddy's umbrella wherever they went was just the beginning of his job. He had to follow Diddy everywhere and make sure Diddy's secrets stayed secret. He acted like Diddy's personal assistant, but it was more like being Diddy's sugar baby than just an assistant. He was paid well to keep quiet about what he saw and heard while working for Diddy. But that's not all. Fonsworth got other benefits too. He became famous on TV as a writer and as a musician, all thanks to Diddy's influence. Fonsworth had already made a name for himself as a songwriter and producer, working with big names like Kanye and Gucci Mane. You'd think his career would keep going strong, but around 2015, he suddenly disappeared from the music scene. Nobody dared ask Diddy what happened to him. But the thing is, is it was how fast he disappeared. Yes. Now he lived in Atlanta, he's married, he has two sons. Some people think Fonsworth was another victim of Diddy, caught up in Diddy's shady dealings and manipulation. It's not just rumors, there's evidence to support this. Cassie, who recently filed a lawsuit against Diddy, made a lot of accusations against him. She hinted that Fonsworth might have helped him set up inappropriate gatherings. These gatherings involve people doing inappropriate things with each other or with Diddy himself. Cassie said in her lawsuit that she she was forced to participate. The key point here is that Diddy's assistant helped him organize these gatherings. It's not hard to guess who she's talking about. He's a s trafficker and, and, and sure as sure as you were right, that's literally what she accused him of. Having yeah. all these freak offs, uh, yep. um, forcing her to have a male prostitute. These encounters, referred to as freak offs by Diddy, involved costumes such as masquerade masks and lingerie. They continued for years, happening in luxury hotels across the United States and at Mr. Com's homes. The lawsuit alleges that he instructed Ms. Ventura to find male workers through escort service websites. What's really surprising is that according to the latest reports, Cassie's lawsuit had a lot of information removed, likely by Diddy. Gene Deal suggested that Diddy probably removed the 
parts where Cassie talked about how these male workers Didi hired were there for his own satisfaction. If she says a freak off section, brother, she ain't the only one freaking off. The prostitute ain't the only one freaking off. Oh boy is freaking off also. When Diddy is asked about Fonsworth's sudden disappearance from the industry, Diddy just said it was time to Fonsworth to move on, wishing him well. It was similar to what Diddy said when Cassie left him. We know that Fonsworth moved to Atlanta, got married to a woman named Fawn Chambers Watkins, and they had two kids. But according to one celebrity who is Jaguar Wright, Fonsworth rebranded as a family man because he went through some rough times with Diddy, which included those inappropriate gatherings then meant freaks off. Many sources have reported that Fonsworth clarified that his initial pay from Diddy was low, but it increased and his responsibilities grew. Even as his role evolved, he was still officially known as Diddy's assistant, which led to speculations about his earnings from facilitating the alleged encounters. This has sparked a lot of speculation among people, wondering what kind of responsibilities Fonsworth was handling. It's not surprising to hear these stories, especially since Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Deal, has spoken out about Diddy's daddy issues with other men. He's shared insider secrets about what really went down when he worked for Diddy. And it doesn't stop there. Other celebrities like Jaguar Wright and 50 Cent have also revealed what they knew about the wild parties Diddy used to throw. This rapper and him, they all in the room together. At this point, it seems like Diddy might as well admit that he's gay or by because many people have figured it out a long time ago. The closet he's hiding in is so transparent that we can see right through it. The worst part is how he keeps hurting the people he's in the relationships with, because he can't accept that part of himself. It's like he causes everyone a lot of pain just to keep hiding his According to Jean, there were many things that Cassie didn't mention in her lawsuit, because Diddy allegedly made her leave out the part where he also participated in these freak-offs. He didn't want people to know about it. Jean claimed that Diddy even gave Cassie a list of things to look for in an escort, because he was searching for someone to satisfy his desires, not hers. She alleges that, you know, Diddy, he'll make her look online for BBCs for their freak-off sessions. And she say that, you know, in this lawsuit that, you know, Diddy, he enjoyed watching her get smashed by BBCs. So, you know, what you think about that? Do you think she was the only one getting bang bomb? <laughs> Do you think this man had this woman search for <laughs> online just for them to have <laughs> with her? Rumors suggest that Diddy might have banned Fonsworth from the industry because he saw him as a potential threat in the future, especially if Fonsworth became influential. So Diddy decided to diminish Fonsworth's popularity and let him fend for himself. But then something unexpected happened. Kanye West stepped in and helped Fonsworth bounce back, giving him work in the music industry. Fonsworth worked hard to rebuild his career and also found faith in God. Today he lives in Atlanta with his wife. But why Atlanta? According to Jaguar Wright, Atlanta is like a gathering place for the black community to find redemption after living a by or gay lifestyle. And download culture is still very, very, very heavy in the black community um, in Atlanta. It's funny because Atlanta's like a gay mech. Looking at this situation, there seem to be two possibilities. First, Fonsworth ran for his safety and protection. Second, there's what Jaguar Wright is saying. It's not hard to believe what Diddy was doing, and Fonsworth might have been unintentionally involved because Diddy might have been forcing him to keep quiet, just like he did with Cassie to settle the lawsuit. Allegedly, he paid her $100 million to settle the lawsuit. Not just 50 Cent, but on many occasions, other celebrities have also also claimed that they think Diddy is gay. During an interview on The Breakfast Club, 50 Cent said he doesn't even know what he says is like fruity, referring to the way Diddy communicates with other men in a more intimate way than most. Hold on, there's more to this. For years, there have been rumors that Diddy has been grooming minors when they enter the industry. Some people allegedly call out names like Justin Bieber and Usher. Now, what many fans speculate is that Diddy enjoys reaping benefits for himself and that 
like he might be using everyone and anyone for his own gain. It seems possible that's what he did with Fonsworth too. It's messed up how Diddy would rather have us know about his violent behavior towards women than his true sexual orientation. It's seriously twisted. I think Fonsworth did the right thing by breaking free from their alleged controlling relationship as soon as he could, because staying wouldn't have been good for him in the end. All we can hope for is that Fonsworth stays safe now that everything has come to light. It's never been difficult for Didi to sweep his dirty deeds under the rug with the help of his allies. But now that everyone is leaving him and he loses his power, will Didi still be able to defend himself? A user said, I think Fonsworth should put a lawsuit on Diddy also. However, he should not settle for any amount of money, unless it was enough money to ruin Diddy, which I doubt. Another user added, I can't understand why did it take Fonsworth so long to get away from Diddy after the second time. I would have gotten ghost. I wonder what made him continue this with Diddy. I hope it wasn't threats and the man broke down and stayed until he truly had enough. But when you wait so long to escape a situation, hell, the damage is already done. That's it for today's video, folks. Bye!